Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I posted a video. I want to say sorry about that. Work has been crazy lately and just been having a lot of things going on in my personal life. that has kept me from getting time to sit down and make some more videos. Hopefully that'll change. I have a couple things on the way. I'm always active in the forum. So if you ever got any questions, I'm always active in the forums. I'm always responding to YouTube comments as soon as possible. Um, as you can see, it's been, well, you might not be able to see, but it's been two weeks. And for me, that's a long time. I try to push out uh, content more often than that when I can, when I have stuff available. So, yeah, I just want to apologize, apologize to you guys. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into today's review. Well, first look review of the Fly Sky IA, or IA, I don't know why I keep saying IA. Fly Sky FS88S. Um, this is Fly Sky's official micro receiver. As you can see here, it supports PPM, IBUS, and SBUS. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a little cold here. Um, for some tech specs because it doesn't come with anything. Well, at least mine didn't. The way I received mine was in an envelope and in a plastic bag. So no protection, no nothing, just <laughs> in an envelope. Um you guys can see a few pictures from the product page. Go down to the spec specifications. Um, just to show you a little thing, uh, it has eight channels through PPM. Through iBus, it supports 18 channels. It is AFHDS 2A, so that means it's going to work with your FlySky i6, your FlySky i6S, your Turnigy Evolutions, your Turnigy i6s and most of the newer FlySky receivers or transmitters. Um, and remember this input voltage four to eight point four volts, so it can take um, in the five volts that we usually put to a receiver or a 2s power supply directly, which is pretty impressive. And as you can see. No ground interference, transmitting and receiving one meter from ground. A range is greater than 300 meters. Um, I personally haven't got to test it out. Uh, I probably won't be the first to test it out. Let me say that. Uh, but these little things, to me, they're more for indoor quads. It, or indoor or very close range. Uh, I'll get this down here. So that's that's my feeling on these. These are for your indoor micros, maybe even um, brushless, but the smaller quads, you're not going to fly super far away. Um, while I'm talking, let me, let me go ahead and get this, some weight here. Give you a better look at it right here. Sorry about the shaking. You can see it's got the little sticker on here. It shows the bind button, ground, power, IBUS, SBUS, PPM. Comes with this little plug. And this little plug right here. Now, my first gripe about this, because there's always something wrong, um, is that I don't really like this setup because this setup assumes that your flyboard is going to have, um, what you call it, pinholes with, you know, pins in it. Usually it's the other way around. Usually this part goes into the receiver, like on all the rest of my quads. Servo goes into the receiver. Of course, there's, there's no pins on here. And sorry about that. I got a call right now. Um, back to what I was saying. So this is, I don't know, to me it seems backwards. I'm not sure why. This is fine to include this, but I think they should have also included a double-sided uh, connector with one of these on both sides to plug into, let me get this around here, plug into, you know, into your SP Racing they have 3s with the little connectors like this, since there are a lot of these out. This is a CC3D, but, you know, same plug. Uh, so, anyways, let's go ahead and get you this weight real quick. As you can see, by itself, it's about 1.7 grams. Go ahead and throw this cord on here. And it comes out to 2.98, so about 3 grams with everything included. There's no instructions, no anything. There's a manual on the website that will be in the link in the description below uh, but let's go ahead and show you i want to show you guys this because it is important my main thing about this i thought when it was coming that i wasn't even going to review it because i had heard that there was no fail safe but there is indeed a fail safe i'm gonna go ahead and plug it up here 
uh, to my little double-sided cord, like I suggested they provide. I kind of just pulled this apart and made it from two cords. Um, and when you plug it in, now holding this bind button and plugging it in, when you're trying to bind, you're going to want to uh, turn the turn your transmitter on, hold this bind button, plug it up. Uh, it's not going to, it's not always going to tell you connects. The only way you're going to know it connects is to turn it off. Let me try to show you here real quick. Um, get it in the camera here. You're going to hold the bind button and plug it up like that. Of course, it's got to plug power in. <laughs> Let me try to get this one handed here. Not the easiest thing to plug in the XT60 one handed. Okay, and when you plug it up and when you're in bind mode, it's going to be flashing. Um, I think, believe the first time before you bind, mine's already bound up, so I can't really show you. Um, but I believe the first time it's going to be flashing a little faster. But it's going to keep flashing even when you are bound. You're just going to have to turn your transmitter off and on. And when you turn it back on, it should go steady like that. And that means, of course, that you're bound up. Um, I'll go ahead and show you here. It does work. And let me go ahead and show you fail safe. Put it in uh, air mode. And as you can see, fail safe pretty quickly too. Now, I'm not really sure if this is fail safing through the transmitter or the or the you know the flyboard because I always set both, and I think everybody should set both. You know, go down here to your setup, fail safe. As you see, my channel three is always negative 100, and my fail safe is always set on my flight controller as well. So, just you know, good practice. But just to let you know, see, off. Does work. Turn it on. It's gonna go solid, and we're good to go. So, like I said, for the micros out there, the sub, let's say sub one fifties, one fifties and under millimeter quads, this is gonna be a great addition to the Fly Sky receiver family. Uh, it has a user replaceable antenna, so you could actually put a better antenna on there, get better range, um, if need be. And yeah, at what was the price here? Ten ninety nine currently regular price or regular price twelve ninety nine. I believe it's a pretty good deal. Like I said, the only fault with it is I think it should have a different set of cords with it in addition to this one. Keep this, that's fine, but a different set of cords in addition to that. But you know, I guess that's me and me being picky. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get some more videos out on a more regular basis. I got some stuff coming in to review. I have a quad that's kind of been lost in the mail. I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, but yeah, hopefully I have time to get more stuff coming out. As always, hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.